In this video we share Our Lady's message to Father Gobi on the Great Apostasy. This message was given to the locutionist Father Stefano Gobi on July 11, 1988, the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On the Feast of My Immaculate Heart of this Marian year, consecrated to me, beloved sons, I am calling all of you to enter into the heavenly garden which I have built for you, during these painful and bloody moments of the purification. The hour of the great apostasy has come. What has been foretold in Holy Scripture, in the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, is now on the point of coming to pass. Satan, my adversary, with snares and by means of his subtle seduction, has succeeded in spreading errors everywhere, under the form of new and more updated interpretations of the truth, and he has led many to choose with full knowledge, and to live in, sin, in the deceiving conviction that this is no longer an evil, and even that it is a value and a good. The times of the general confusion, and of the greatest agitation of spirits has come. Confusion has entered into the souls and the lives of many of my children. This great apostasy is spreading more and more, even through the interior of the Catholic Church. Errors are being taught and spread about, while the fundamental truths of the faith which the authentic magisterium of the Church has always taught and energetically defended against any heretical deviation whatsoever, are being denied with the greatest of ease. The Episcopates are maintaining a strange silence, and are no longer reacting. When my Pope speaks with courage and reaffirms with force the truths of the Catholic faith, he is no longer listened to and is even publicly criticized and derided. There is a subtle and diabolical tactic, woven in secretly by Masonry, which makes use of those things that refer to the Holy Father in order to bring ridicule upon his person and his work and to bring to nothing his magisterium. Those children of mine who, often unknowingly, allow themselves to be carried along by this wave of error and of evil are victims of the great apostasy. Many bishops, priests, religious and faithful are victims of the great apostasy. In these times, in the Catholic Church, there will remain a little remnant who will be faithful to Christ, to the Gospel, and to its entire truth. The little remnant will form a little flock, all guarded in the depths of my Immaculate Heart. This little flock will be made up of those bishops, priests, religious and faithful who will remain strongly united to the Pope, all gathered together in the cenacle of my Immaculate Heart, in an act of unceasing prayer, of continual immolation, of total offering to prepare the painful way for the second and glorious coming of my Son Jesus. On this feast of mine in this Marian year, I address to all those who wish to become part of the little flock the motherly invitation to consecrate themselves to my heart, to live in intimacy of life with me, to become my courageous apostles in these last times, because the moment when my Immaculate Heart must be glorified before all the Church and be re all humanity has come. From the Marian Movement of Priests, Blue Book No. 384 Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.